This holiday season, I'm sharing a story about a wreath that my husband and I build together. Constructing our wreath is a much anticipated tradition that we've shared for many years. In late autumn, usually after a windstorm, we toss the loppers, the pole pruner, and the clipping shears into the wheelbarrow and take a walk through the nearby forest and search for fallen evergreen branches. Our goal for the day is to gather a wheelbarrow full of greens and twigs that we can use to construct a large wreath. Gary usually gathers the larger evergreens while I search the forest floor for smaller branches. It's much like a fun scavenger hunt. Another evergreen we use is holly. Holly trees are scattered throughout the forest. During the year, we take care of our wild holly trees by removing brushy undergrowth and fertilizing their roots in the late winter or early spring so that they grow abundant berries the following year. I'm always excited when a holly tree starts to mature and grow berries not only because it's a future provider of greenery for the holidays, but because the berries are food for wildlife during the winter and early spring. The greenery is stored in buckets of water to keep them fresh while we are working on our wreath. I keep the leftover greens in the buckets during December so that indoor decorations can be restocked with fresh greens when needed. The large wire form that I am using is about 30 inches across. It's vintage and reused every year. It's about 35 years old and it has survived many winters hanging on the side of the house. It's rusty because of the damp weather. Amazingly, the welds have held the wire wreath form together I'm not sure where I would find a replacement if this one breaks. This feels like a zen-like project. Sorting through the evergreens piled on the table and clipping and assembling small bits of branches to wire onto the wreath keeps my mind focused on the present and my thoughts positive. My mind does wander at times, ruminating about the past, and then I refocus on the present. Keeping my hands busy building things is gratifying. There have been some years where we've had fewer branches. For example, there was one November day, we had a windstorm that blew down several evergreen trees. Because of that storm, there were fewer branches available. So we substituted laurel branches because it was our most abundant evergreen that would add fullness to our wreath that year. We tend to find ways to use what's readily available. Since that storm, we've been planting new evergreens. Wreaths have a long history. Traditional holiday wreaths constructed from evergreens symbolize strength because evergreens last through the harshest winters. In English-speaking countries, wreaths are typically used as household ornaments, most commonly as Advent and Christmas decorations. They're also used in ceremonial events in many cultures around the globe. The wire form is completely filled with evergreens. It could be considered finished now, but I like to add some sparkle with ornaments. These ornaments are reused every year. The winter weather has worn off some of the paint, yet they remain sparkly. They remind me that as we age, 
we can still be sparkly. These are secured with 16 gauge wire. The wire is cut long enough just to push through the wreath and twist together in the back. I tuck the ends of the wire back into the wreath so that it doesn't scrape the paint off the house if it shifts back and forth during a windstorm. The final touch is adding the ribbon. This ribbon is about 20 years old and was purchased from a second-hand sale and it gets reused each year. It's weathered many winters outside. After the winter season, I wrap the ribbon around cardboard rolls and store until the next winter season. The 16 gauge wire is cut and formed into U-shaped pins and those are used to hold the ribbon in place. Most of the U-pins are saved and reused. Well, it's dressed up and ready for the outdoors. Gary is hanging the wreath. I worry about him on the ladder. He insists on hanging the wreath every year. Still, I worry. Wreath building, please pardon my cliche, is a labor of love for both of us. We hope the wreath brings joy to others. Thank you for watching this video.